Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part 10 of scenario based question series. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. Our first question is, let's say you have a view showing category with sales. When you hover on categories, it will show total number of subcategory with sales associated with category. All this detail should be in single chart. How you can do it? First, let's understand the problem. Let's drag category and its sales. Okay. Now let's rotate it to get the view. So what's the question is when you hover any of the category, it should show all the category associated with this category that is furniture. Okay. How you can do it? For this, we have to create one more sheet subcategory with sales. Okay. And now go to our question one. Go to its tooltip. Then go to insert. Then sheet. And then select our desired sheet. Okay. You can format it here as well. And then just click on OK. Now, when you hover it, you can see for furniture bookcase chair furniture and table are the subcategory associated with this when you hover on office supplies you can see these are the total number of subcategories associated with office supplies and same for technology as well okay this is how you can solve this problem let's move to our next question how to show label only for one value in the view okay for this let's take subcategory and sales and show its label now you can see when you use this function it is showing label for all the values okay so how we can show the label only for one value for this first let's unselect this one and let's say we want to show for machines you can right click on it then go to its mark label and then always show okay now you can see it is showing label only for one value let's say you want to hide only just one value for this what you can do is you can just select never show and if you go and click on show mark you will not get the label for machine okay this is how you can solve this problem let's move to our next question Let's say data set has data from 2020 to 23 and we need data only from 22 to 23. What is the optimized way to restrict the data? If you know the answer, please write down in the comment section. Now, so this question is related to our order of operation. If you look at this, so how order of operation look like is first is extract filter, then data source filter, context filter and followed by others. So what would the answer? Answer is extract filter because in the extract filter, we take the subset of the data and extract filter optimize the dashboard and helps us to increase the speed of the dashboard. Okay, now let's create the extract filter. Click on extract, go to edit and go to add. Let's say we need data for 22 to 23, just select only two years click on ok if we want to add more option in the extract you can add like if you need incremental refresh or full refresh and at what level you want to aggregate the data you can add as of now i'm keeping it as same and click on ok now you can see we have created our extract now let's go to our sheet and if you drag it you can see we are just getting the data only for two years okay so this is how you can solve this problem that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos